I think the, the first finding which was particularly important was that um, the, the original policy that we were evaluating, if you like, the, where the strategic objectives for communicating external, EU external action were set down in 2006 in our communication uh, from the Commission. Um, those were recognisable in some of the, in quite a lot of the responses, in fact, um, and that was quite a positive finding. A second important finding was to, uh, uh, that we found a fair amount of coordination among different parts of the institutions, uh, notably within the Commission, between DGs and so on. There was a bit of a hiatus uh, towards the end of the last Commission and as we were transferring to the new institutional structure post-Lisbon, so with the creation of the EAS and staff shifting from uh, DG Dev into DEVCO and uh, so on. Uh, there was a little lull there, but things started to pick up fairly quickly thereafter. But what we did also find, and that was more worrying, was that uh, um, there, was, there seemed to be no central leadership, uh, central sense of direction after this uh, hiatus. Um, where, whereas before you had a fairly clear, this is the communication strategy for the RELX group of uh, DGs, uh, for EU external action as a whole. Uh, we haven't found that uh, since... Uh, um, since the changeover, the institutional changes. I think the, this question of central leadership is actually quite important. Uh, um, I think it does help, uh, particularly when you have to react to situations. And in the evaluation, we did try and uh, look at two cases where we had to, where we had to see how the Commission reacted or how the Union reacted to. Uh, we looked at the uh, democratic uprising in Tunisia. We looked at the inflow of uh, uh, migrants to Lampedusa. Um, and uh, in those sort of circumstances where there's very little time to coordinate and reflect and come to a common position, the more you have the clear central messages and a clear leadership set up in advance, uh, the better. Uh, in terms of the, the, the central images, uh, uh, the central image or central messages, and the image they create, I think that uh, the positive finding we have that they will recognize, it does re need renewal, it does need reaffirmation, it does need confirmation, if you like, um, and th that would be a central, second uh, central uh, recommendation. A third one would be that um, our feeling was that there's quite a bit of uh, tension around sharing visibility when working in partnerships with the, uh, other organizations, and there's a lot of Ooh, they're taking more of the visibility than us. Uh, you know, we're working, we're putting lots of money into this, and yet they are the ones who seem to get all the, the media coverage, etc. And our suggestion would be that we should actually turn this on its head a bit and say that actually the value that the EU should be promoting as a central message is the EU is about working in partnership. Just as much as it's important to have certain key central messages and leadership at uh, the overall level, I think you then have to be able to articulate those. Um, uh, at, uh, at a local level. I mean, the, the EU is fortunate in having a major asset in lots of delegations, over 120 or something, I don't know. Um, and that those contain the, the people, the staff there, obviously have lots of local knowledge and uh, they have access to local information and so on, and that's a key resource. Uh, and they need to be given a certain amount of space to uh, to not only adapt this, the strategies and the policies of the external action for those areas, which is happening, but then also how do you communicate that best in uh, situation X, Y, or Z. One of the messages we were picking up is that people got frustrated when the EU was talking about making lots of gra grandiose statements about how so many billions of euros were going to be spent on this or on that and how the EU could achieve this, this, and this, and it was the greatest... Uh, donor and the, the biggest trade partner in the world and so on. And while these facts are true and there's no, no problem with that, what they do tend to do is they tend to raise expectations. To avoid that happening, it would be much better to focus on what are the results achieved.